Hi guys, it is Mad. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are new, make sure you click that subscribe button to become a part of the trendiest, coolest place on the internet. It's here, click subscribe, turn the notification bell on. You got it, you know what to do. It's been a minute since I have filmed a video, probably like almost two months at least. Uh, basically, I just moved to New York City. If you guys follow me on social media, you know I have been awaiting this move for literally forever. So it finally happened. I'm here in the Big Apple. What's good? This background is temporary. I don't even know where I'm going to film. Still figuring all of that out. Yeah, I just wanted to sit down and film for you guys today because I was finally feeling in the mood and feeling settled enough to where I could do this. So today I'm going to be filming my vinyl collection and I actually went to a record store today. I just like got the idea and I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna go home and film a vinyl collection. I would love to hear your opinion on the music I listen to. It is a very, 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 very broad range of music. So if you're expecting one genre, not here baby you're gonna get everything from like sad piano ballads to like hard rock to like rap to like folk indie stuff so if that's what you're into let's just get started with my vinyl collection we have a lot to go through these are so out of order so i don't know if they're gonna be grouped together we'll see i'm with see. i don't know the first record i'm gonna talk about is the tallest man on earth there's no leaving now this one I actually just got today. This is some of my favorite Tallest Man on Earth songs. I love Revelation Blues. I love 1904. But I'm very excited to listen to this. Look at that lighting. Just look at her. She's... Mm, just has a different chef's kiss. You know what I mean. The next few albums, he still has prices on them. So I have a lot of Led Zeppelin albums. I listened to Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, just a lot of classic rock growing up. My parents are both really into classic rock, so I have a lot of their albums that they passed down to me. This first one is in Through the Outdoor from Led Zeppelin. This is like an original. All of my Led Zeppelin ones are original presses. They're not the remastered version, which I think is really cool. I love uh, Fool in the Rain. It's probably my favorite song off this album. I also have Coda, which I would say my favorite on here is I Can't Quit You, Baby. This next album, I actually have two original copies of. Both of my parents each had one from when it was released. This is Physical Graffiti from Led Zeppelin. I love Houses of the Holy. Uh, Cashmere is one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs. The next one is uh, The Song Remains the Same. Once again, just like really cool like album insert situation. I like Whole Lot of Love and Rain Song off of this one. I found a random grommet. Love that for me. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. hi. This is Led Zeppelin 4. I absolutely love this album art. I think it is so cool. This one has Black Dog, which is one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs, and the inner art, the in the inside cover art. Very cool. One of my faves. Mm, no, I have more Led Zeppelin, but we're going to come back to them because they're at the bottom of the pile, and I really don't feel like digging through that, so let's get into a few more modern albums. So I have um, Arctic Monkeys, Favorite Worst Nightmare. Do I listen to this? Not really. Did 15 year old me listen to this? Absolutely. I mean, it has like 505 fluorescent adolescent. So if that gives you any idea of what I was like as a teenager, this album describes it and you'll see a few more of those. Um, I have some original Fleetwood Mac presses. These smell so musty and old. I have just the self-titled album as well as Rumors. I don't really listen to these that much anymore. So here's more Led Zeppelin. I am just gonna show you guys these. There's really no reason for me to go through every single one. I have Led Zeppelin 2. My favorite on here is probably Thank You. I like Thank You. And I like the Lemon Song. Houses of the Holy. This is Houses of the Holy, I think. Dire Maker. It's very nostalgic. Over the Hills and Far Away. My first boyfriend used to play that for me on his guitar all the time. So this brings me back to ninth grade, and I don't love that for me. And then we have Presents by Led Zeppelin, and this is just like really cool album art. Do I listen to this one a lot? Not really ever. Oh, we have another um, Madison going through her eighth grade crisis. This is Band of Horses, everything all the time. Once again, do I listen to this? No, 
I don't ever. But me in eighth grade, I'm like, ooh, like the funeral. <laughs> like no one knew the words of that song, did you? But I really liked this as a kid. Next, we have Flower Boy. Me and Jack love Tyler. He is like the biggest Tyler fan in the world. M maybe, I'll take that back, I don't really know. Okay. Flower Boy is a great album and I listened to it a lot when I first met Jack, so it's also like weirdly nostalgic. So this is what I was talking about when I mentioned uh, like sad piano ballads. There's this really small indie underground, like only the cool kids know it, little group, Gem Club. And I used to listen to Gem Club a lot when I was really depressed in high school and they were just really like what I needed at the time. So I have two of their albums, I don't know how many albums they have, but these have been played like a lot. Breakers, I don't, if any of you know Gem Club, please comment down below how you found them or what your favorite song is or if you still listen to them. This is In Roses by Gem Club and I love that they include the lyrics because sometimes they can be a little hard to understand or the words kind of like flow into each other. I like all the songs, they're just beautiful. This is one of Jack's albums extension cord. I don't want to talk about it. So this part is where I get a little emotional because if you know me in real life, you know that I am the biggest Mac Miller fan. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ever. Um, I love Mac Miller basically more than I love myself, more than I love anything or anyone ever. So I'm just going to go through my Mac Miller albums real quick and try not to cry. Blue Slide Park. All of these songs make me cry. I cannot listen to this album. Honestly, since I got it, have I touched it? No, I haven't because I can't, I cannot listen to these songs. It's this beautiful blue vinyl press. First like part of PA Nights comes on. I will cry. Kids and this is just like, like what? Oh, this is another album that is also just like very, very hard for me to listen to. I just don't, I can't listen to his old music because it just reminds me of like when I was, no way it has a poster. Are you joking? Are you joking? Did I, oh my, what? I'm putting this like above my bed, bye, okay. But anyways, as I was saying, all of his old music from when he was younger reminds me of when I was growing up and it's just like so, it's so sad. And I have this really cool, most dope press. And then the next Mac album I have is Good I Am. Please let there be a poster in here. Imagine if there's a poster in here too. This is the album that like I really, really, really got into Mac with. It's this awesome silver press. Perfect Circle Godspeed is one of my favorite Mac songs ever. And ROS makes me want to literally die on the spot. So it's hard to listen to, but that's like top three Mac songs of all time. And then we come to um, the album that basically changed my life and shaped me as a person. Am I being dramatic? Once again, no. This album, I literally have two different presses because I love it so much. This is Divine Feminine. This album just for some reason connected very, very deep with me. I have it tattooed on my leg. This album just hits so different. Soulmate is my favorite song. Planet Goddamn is also up there for me. And I have the white and pink marble press. This one is pretty hard to find because, so Urban Outfitters started printing the Divine Feminine again. This is like the OG press, the deluxe edition exclusive. And I don't believe that they press this anymore. And I'm so extra that I also have the bubblegum hot pink press. I'm watching movies with the sound off and this is also an amazing album. I love SDS. I love suplexes instead of complexes and duplexes. Love that song. Remember is a Mac song that like really, really sticks with me. And this one is also really cool. It looks like there's blood on it. I love it. I think this is the last Mac album I have. This is Swimming. Uh, one of my top favorite albums of all time. I think it is absolutely just fantastic. It is a piece of art. Favorite songs off of here. I would say Jet Fuel 2009. Uh, Hurt Feelings, every song on here, except for Wings. I don't love Wings and it's weird because that was one of Max's favorite songs from the album. How can I forget? I have one more. This is Circles and my favorite, favorite song on here is Hand Me Downs. This is slowly becoming probably my favorite song ever. Insert, is this a poster? No way. It's a freaking 
poster. How do I miss these things? How do I miss these things time and time again? Can somebody let me know? But honestly, this album was really hard for me to listen to at first. It made me very sad. But as time went on, I listened to it more and more. Another Led Zeppelin album, Led Zeppelin 1. Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You really had me crying as a 14 year old. This is probably the coolest thing that I have. My dad got this in the 70s and it's a bootleg um, Led Zeppelin album. I think they only made like 100 copies of this and it's literally in like a random sleeve just with this cover over top. The vinyl itself is like not a Led Zeppelin album but it has Led Zeppelin songs on it. This is a live recorded album and that was recorded at the show and then printed and then sold and he happened to get one. The next album I have is Nirvana Bleach. I love Nirvana. I know it's like basic now to love Nirvana as like a late 90s baby. It's fine. It's okay if you want to see it that way. I have loved Nirvana since I was like a kid. I worshipped Kurt Cobain in my youth, but Bleach is probably one of my fave albums from Nirvana. I like it. I love Mr. Mustache and I like Downer, but honestly every song on here is good. I listen to it all the time. So that one's really cool. And I think I got this at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Onto my Pink Floyd albums, I have Wish You Were Here. Once again, a really old, crusty, dusty, original press. I love this album. Pink Floyd is probably my personal favorite, like classic rock band. I think that their music just hit different with me. Honestly, every song in here is really good. I actually cannot pick one. This is my personal favorite Pink Floyd album. It is the final cut and I really don't think that this one gets enough credit in our current time. It's really sad. It's about the war and it's very sad. The actual final cut song is just like very emotional. Honestly, if you are a Pink Floyd fan or you're getting into them, I really, really recommend listening to this album. I think it's fantastic. I think it's emotional. I think it shows a completely different side of what the group could do. That original wall or whatever, this is The Wall. And if you have not yet seen the Pink Floyd movie called The Wall, I would highly recommend as your first introduction to the album or the band if you have not heard it. And honestly, not gonna go through my favorite songs on this because I honestly view this album as just like one big song. And then of course, you know, gotta get real basic with them. Uh, Dark Side of the Moon, this is not an original press. I got this at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. I remember discovering this in my youth and being like, oh my gosh, I'm so edgy, nobody knows about this. Turns out the whole world knows about it and I was just stuck in my head trying to be quirky and different. Um, every year or so, I go through a neutral milk hotel craze. I do lots of research on the lead singer, Jeff. Hey Jeff, if you're out there. Hey girl, we miss you, we love you. Um, give us more music. Uh, strong political messages behind it. It's very interesting, the backstory. If you have not heard it, I would recommend looking into it. On Avery Island, which I am partial to this album. No, I love the way that this album flows. I love mm, Where You'll Find Me Now, April 8th. That's my favorite Nutramilk Hotel song of all time. Pine Grove, Pine Grove Cardinal. I love this. I love Pine Grove so much. I am actually seeing them uh, this upcoming August and I'm very excited about it. I, I can't pick a favorite song off of this. Um, I love Waveform. I love Size of the Moon. I love Cadmium. I love Aphasia. Um, we got some classics here. Cage the Elephant, Melophobia. Really love Cage the Elephant. At least I did way more in my youth. I don't listen to them a ton anymore, but I think the memories I've attached to them are really good. I love Telescope and I love T this is thank you happy birthday and i would say my favorite song is aberdeen and i like that it comes with this little guy that's shiver which is kind of like an almost alternate version of right before my eyes so i think that's really cool the next album i have is the cure the top and i absolutely love the cure they're like one oh, of my faves i literally said that about all of these dressing up the caterpillar or 
bird mad girl so this is also not even my full record collection i had to leave some of them behind at home because i actually have so many so i'm gonna end on this one here this is the cure 17 seconds i would say my favorite song off of here is definitely a forest I am obsessed with that song. I Once again, it's a song I listen to like every day. Play for today. I like three. I love Robert Smith. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my record collection. If you have any video requests for me, let me know below because I would love to start really filming stuff now that I'm here in New York City and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. And let me know if these are any of the albums that you guys love or which one of these is your favorite, or if you have a favorite song off of one of these, or just generally share your favorite album with me below because I'm always looking for new music. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.